Hello, today your doctor has asked you to complete a treadmill stress test. In this video, we will guide you through the process of the testing. This test will provide your doctor with valuable information about your exercise performance, symptoms, and some heart functions with exercise. Depending on the results of your test, your physician may make medication adjustments or ask for more testing. When you first arrive at the stress lab, a nurse will be there to check you in. Once you are checked in, the nurse will explain briefly what kind of stress test you will be receiving, the risks and benefits of the procedure. You will get a special scan of your heart after being injected with a radioactive tracer at rest and get a second scan with injection of radioactive tracer after increasing your heart rate. This test can last approximately three to four hours. If you are having pain in your knees, hips, or back that would prevent you from walking safely on a treadmill, let the nurse know. If you have not used a treadmill before, the nurse will demonstrate how to walk on the treadmill. You will first get an IV placed, then you will get an injection of radioactive tracer through the IV. You will get a special scan of your heart after being injected with a radioactive tracer. During the test, you will have electrodes attached to your chest. You will then walk on a treadmill until you reach your target heart rate, and then you will receive another injection of radioactive tracer. You will be rescanned in front of the special camera. The test stops when you reach your target heart rate or develop chest pain in a regular rhythm or become too tired and need to stop. Place both hands on the handlebar. Relax your shoulders with a bend at the elbow to keep tension out of the shoulders. Look straight ahead and not down when walking. Walk in a heel-toe approach. Stay in the middle of the treadmill and closer to the front of the machine. If you need to stop, please let the nurse know. Do not jump off the treadmill. Before we start, the nurse will explain the risks and benefits of the test. This test is done routinely, but as with every test, there are potential risks. The most common risk is chest pain. Other risks include dizziness, nausea, or rarely an allergic reaction to medications. The test can cause a heart attack. Although this is unlikely to happen, it's still a risk. Should anything occur, we have staff and medications to treat you. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to ask the nurses or the physicians in the stress lab. Thank you for taking the time to view this video.